we kept the skeleton of the Republic for nearly 20 years while the Death Star was constructed. 20 years. My apprentice. All that planning is now a layer of dust orbiting around Yavim. Now, we no longer have the Senate to hold order. We do not have the Death Star to force it. Our greatest weapon is gone. Our production is in ashes. We are besieged. In all these years, we have never skirted closer to disaster. Darth Sidious following losses at Findar and Portakari two weeks following the Battle of Yavin, members of the Nashta squadron learned at the Zero Angle Bar on the Bright Jewel Oversector flight base on Axila 3 that the military would undergo a mass reorganization, rescinding the classification between Imperial Navy and Imperial Army pilots. Unbeknownst to the Empire following the destruction of the first Death Star, the Rebel Alliance had successfully evacuated their base on Yavin 4 and was orbiting the remote world of Auto-Plutonia in the Pantora system, located in the Sujumi sector, with the nearest Imperial presence being Moff Abrin Balfour, who patrolled the world of Klanich situated at the intersection of the Klanich Spice Route and Triellus Trade Route. A brief skirmish erupted when Luke Skywalker, in the luxury yacht The Desert Jewel, attacked two TIE fighters assaulting a Kupahan ship. Unknown to Skywalker at the time, the ship was in reality carrying a Kupahan spy with vital intelligence regarding Drusil Beforen, a given woman with a reputation for being able to slice into security systems at an astonishing rate and interpret encoded messages at breathtaking speed. Desperately searching for the Alliance fleet, the Empire sought to convince Drusil to use her cryptographic skills to aid them and kept her in a sort of luxurious imprisonment on Denon in an effort to sway her favor. Secretly, Drusil offered to join the Alliance as long as the rebels could successfully extract her family to the ocean world of Omarath, a task given to Major Bren Derlin. After a side mission to the Deep Core, Luke Skywalker, R2-D2 and Nakari Kellen successfully extracted Drusil after an elaborate chase across the galaxy, hampering the Empire's plans for a retaliatory strike against the Rebellion. In addition to Rebel agents wreaking havoc internally, the Empire suffered desultory raids by rebel forces emboldened by their successful strike against the Death Star, with the rebels that destroyed it, Red Squadron, continuing to harass the Empire, especially during a mission above Giju where a transport carrying underground rebel leaders was evacuated from the planet. The Empire also continued to suffer setbacks from the Rebellion's golden boy, Luke Skywalker, including the trespass by the Jedi Purge survivor into the Temple of Edith, an abandoned Jedi temple under guard of the Empire, on Devaran. Despite the temporary turmoil instilled by the rebels' bold strikes, the Alliance attempted even bigger operations to capitalize on its former success. Most notable was an attempt to assault, infiltrate and destroy weapons factory Alpha located in the Corellian Industrial Cluster on Simon 1, reputedly home to the largest weapons factory in the galaxy. In the meantime, the Empire opened negotiations with the Hutt clan, led by Jabba the Hutt, to secure raw materials for imperial military production and secure their support for their expansion in the Outer Rim. The rebels ultimately destroyed the factory, crippling imperial production and causing another major setback. 